Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews. Today I'm doing another tequila, right? Um, Patron Reposada. I'm going to uh, do the um, Blanco and the uh, Añejo, which denotes different times aging in barrels. Um, so attached to this, my first comment, I always pin it and I have a link to the playlist of whatever I'm reviewing. In this case, it'll be all tequilas. But I do every kind of spirit. I do wine, I do beer, I do coffees, teas, everything for us big boys and girls. I appreciate if you hit the sub, comment, thumbs up. That's your part. That helps analytics, helps the channel grow. I'll do everything on this side together. Greatness. Let's do the um, Reposado Patron. One of the first, um, and here's the, the Blanco. Uh, very similar in color. You could, I don't know if you, it's showing up there, but this one is a little darker. Um, a silver can be uh, in oak from zero to two months, two months to six months for the Reposado. This says uh, only on the website that it's been aged at least two months, which you know that, hence the name. Now, a lot of times you say, well, of course, they want to get it out of there as soon as possible. They're losing money having it tied up. Um, they're losing evaporation. But hopefully that's not the case, that they're tasting it and making sure that each barrel is ready, whether it's two months or six months. But, you know. This was one of the first premium tequilas to come out. Um, they came out with a fancy bottle, and a cork. They came out with the leather tie on the 750s and above. Uh, premiumly priced. Um, so here it is. Let's do this one. This should have a hint of oak on it. Just a hint. And some of the same flavors as the other one, which I got. Well, we'll see if I get it again. I got a lot of citrus, a um, little bit of pepper. Hmm. Sweetness. Or smell. Yeah, not really. I guess that's the a little kiss of, of the oak. Of the, this is new and used barrels that it's put in. It's in part a little bit of vanilla. It's toned down the pepper smell. I still get a sweetness. I still get some citrus. Kind of a banana coming through. Uh, a little bit of the oak. A little bit of the vanilla. A little different from the silver. Definitely tasting the sweetness. The pepper's not as strong on this. I guess the wood has mellowed it. It's added a little vanilla. I'm still getting still getting the fruits. Not as strong as citrus. Everything's been toned down. I've got more vanilla. I've got a kiss of wood. Pepper's been toned down. Fruit's been toned down. It's more of a um, just a, I don't know, it's hard to describe, just that, that, that kiss of the wood, the kiss of the vanilla. Kiss of leather. Just a kiss, just a hint. Um, I like it better, I think, um, for drinking it straight. Now, we'll use my patented 100% pure Himalayan sea salt glass. Telling you it makes any tequila good. You can put this in the freezer and freeze it. It'll chill your tequila. Um, you get the kiss of salt. This thing will last forever. Never get bacteria or anything in it. Because salt is an antibacterial, as we know. You can preserve meat with it, for example. Um, but when you go to sip it, not much is dissolving in there. Just the barely any. But when you sip it, you get that little salt. Any bitterness that might be in there totally disappears. Just you talk about it. Put rot gut in here. And it would be good. Mm. 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 I like how the woodiness, uh, yeah, the wood flavor really uh, mixes with that salt. Very nice. So, from Hillbilly Select Reviews, I'm going to move on to the Añejo, and we will do that one next. Check the playlist. You'll get every tequila review I have, from Hill and we'll do in the future. Right. From Hillbilly Select Reviews, thank you, and I will see you all on the next one.